Hi everyone, it's Denise Reed and welcome back to my channel Bramble Reed. Now last week I did say that this week we were going to do another tutorial on clay but I stumbled upon a salt dough recipe that's called Better Than Salt Dough and I wanted to try it. This recipe is also known as baking soda clay, baking soda dough or corn flour dough. By the end of this tutorial you will know how to make the Better Than Salt Dough clay and also I'm going to give you an example of what the regular salt dough looks like and and this better than salt dough. For the best creative DIY and fashion content, subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that bell to be notified when I post a video every Tuesday. I have a Facebook page that is dedicated to DIY crafts and fashion that you're able to join. Now it's your turn. So for today's project, I wanted to try this better than salt dough recipe. I put it on high heat a little bit, then I'm going to turn it down. And I'm just going to keep stirring. And I always kind of stir just to make sure there's no bumps in it. And then once it starts kind of boiling a little bit, just turn it down so that it's medium heat because you don't want it to burn. One of the things about this particular recipe is that you can see that it's basically white and you don't want it to burn or anything like that but I'm going to stir it until it gets thick and all the water is evaporating and the two the cornstarch and the baking soda mix together now as you as you keep stirring you're going to see that your the texture is going to change you see the thick consistency I'm just going to turn it down. This is hot, so don't touch it. I'm just going to clean off this part because you know once you leave it, it will cool down a little bit. So I'm just going to cool that part off. Be sure to comment down below and let me know if you've ever used this better than salt dough recipe and what you think about it. And this is still hot, but look at this. This is so pretty. So I'm going to let it cool down because we want to do the test to see. Look at that. It's not even cooled down and it's really nice. We're going to cover it because it will get dry if you leave it if you leave it uncovered and then we're going to come back to it in a bit and make sure that when you cover it just use a damp a damp cloth or something that's damp i'm going to use a damp paper towel so we have finished with the dough i left it sit overnight last night and here it is it is extremely nice now it is like the salt dough in the sense when i put it on my hand i do get those dry spots but the feeling is nice it's cool and i'm sure it's because it's baking soda so with the salt dough i was able to make two different textures or weights i guess i would say one was really soft this one here you're basically making it one consistency which is nice and then let's roll it you see what I mean with my hands that's the same thing that happened with the salt dough and then I did show you how to roll and get a nice round bead here's the comparison point that I wanted to show you now this the better than salt dough is not quite yet dried, but there's some notable differences. You see the stark white, and this would have been whiter had I've used white soap, but my soap was beige. And then here is the salt dough. Now there's something that I did when I created the salt dough, I did use coarse salt so that you can get those. Let me see if you can see it. 
I used a coarse salt so I was able to get that little effect. Because the Better Than Salt dough is a little bit softer, I used a thicker shish kebab stick to ensure that my dough didn't crack. It did start, something happened here, but I think that's when I was making it round. I didn't do a real good job. And let me take it out because it is drying. There's the hole. So yeah, it looks the same. I just have to let it dry and do the hard test and then I will bake one. And when we come back, see how long it lasts, then we'll compare everything. Now that you know how to make better than salt dough clay, I have written a nine page guide on different designing platforms to help you get your creative juices out of your head and onto a digital platform. I have included different links and tutorials to help you understand these platforms better. You can download the guide at the link in the description box. Also, are you interested in joining a group of creative minds like yourself? I do have my Facebook page where we will be sharing DIY and fashion contents and home improvements. Check out the link in the description box. All these videos next on the salt dough review and then best air dry clay on a gas stove and my upcoming review which would be on the clay. If you like these videos hit the like button, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends.